can leave us in peace Cause all that is made of the on you What is up and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Katie aka Action Jackson back with another video. It's the first video of 2024. Super excited. We're getting back on a schedule. I think my new schedule for the new year is going to be a Saturday and a Wednesday upload. So today is Saturday. We'll be back on Wednesday with another video. And I'm also going to try to like alternate nursing and like other whatever else because i don't want to have too many nursing videos and then that's all i talk about so this is going to be a nursing video and then my next video that y'all see will definitely be something else but today as y'all can see by the title we're going to be discussing what i keep in that bag when i go get a bag okay this is going to be what i keep in my work bag as a registered nurse i am a travel nurse if you're new here I mean, i don't think it matters that i'm a travel nurse that you know it's just a regular nurse work bag. And I definitely, I feel like, keep a lot of really good essential items in my bag. Not just for nursing because, let's be real, most of the things that we need as nurses are found in the hospital. So there's no need to have it in the bag. But just like things that you probably wouldn't even think to keep in your bag. And then you'd be at work and you'd be like, damn, I wish I would have had this. Or I wish I would have had that. Thank y'all for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoy. And yeah, let's get into it. So... I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I just kinda upgraded. Let me upgrade ya. My work bag. Um, I just got this bog bag. My man actually got it for me for Christmas. I've been wanting one of these for so freaking long, but I just never got one. I kinda felt like it wouldn't be able to hold everything, but this is the medium, y'all. This is the medium pink one, and it's huge. Like, I could definitely fit my MacBook in here if I needed to. I could fit a lot of stuff in here, I feel like. It's a pretty decent size. I like that the bag is like a rubber material. So if anything was to spill on it or get on it or just like having germs on it from work, you can easily wipe it off, clean it off. It's not a big deal. So yeah, I have the pink one, of course. Super duper cute. I want to get some like little pins and stuff to put in here, but yeah, we'll do that at a later time. Some of the items that I have in here, you're going to want to have as a nurse at work. But then some of the stuff is just like personal items and stuff that I find to be helpful at work. So as you guys can see, obviously the first little thing that I have on here is a really adorable little nurse um, hand sanitizer holder thing. This is from Bath & Body Works. The hand sanitizer, I think this is the peach one that I have. Yes, it's, oh, that smells so good. Um, it's a peach one, but it's just like a little clip on. It's, it's also a, oops, it's also like a lanyard, but I don't like to wear this around the hospital and it's kind of dumb because there's literally a hand sanitizer pump outside of almost every room. So it's pointless. So I just like to clip it on here just for like, if I am, I don't know, eating lunch or anything when I'm right there and I just feel like I want to clean my hands, I could just use that. Also, I just want to let you guys know that anything in this video that I say I got from Amazon, it will be linked down below. Yes, in all transparency, your girl does have a storefront, but I don't really make money off of my Amazon storefront. So starting with my first nurse item i am definitely gonna go and say my stethoscope case is one of the main things in my work bag obviously you need a stethoscope to go to work i know a lot of y'all don't use cases but stethoscopes especially like litmans and the really really um good ones especially if you're like a cardiac nurse or you have the higher grade stethoscope those cost a pretty penny so you want to make sure that you're like protecting it making sure it doesn't get bent up or cracked or anything like that so i like to leave it in the case this is a cute little bow key case i cannot remember if this is from amazon i actually got this um as a graduation gift when i graduated nursing school but i'm pretty sure it probably came off of amazon if i find it i will link it down below and you just it's like a zipper looks like a little pencil case actually and then open it and there is my steffi i actually have two this is my second one and this was this is the one i use like all through nursing school like baby you got me through some some clinicals and some labs and some practicals okay this is my og hold it down but then like purple used to be my favorite color and i was like no i really like the light blue like i feel like the light blue just it gave nerves it gave medical. It gave Florence Nightingale. So I wanted the light blue one. Um, this little thing that's on my stethoscope. This little thing that's on my stethoscope. I get asked about so much. So you don't have to keep it on here. I just keep it on here because it actually goes like through your shirt. Like there's a magnet. 
like as y'all see that's a magnet so it actually can go through your shirt and attach to your shirt with no problem but i was finding when i did this at work it was falling off it was falling on the floor it was falling in a patient bed it was it was just like no mm -mm. this is a i didn't even tell y'all what it is while i'm talking about it this is a light i got this off of amazon for sure it's from the brand alone fire um and it's basically like a light i work third shift and i work med sir so a lot of patients are getting antibiotics and all type of stuff all throughout the night we already waking you up in the middle of the night why would i want to walk in there and turn on all the lights and piss you off and you just sleep you know so i like this because it's just a little light. You press it once, you get that. Press it twice, you get the red. Press it three times, you get the blinking red. And then you cut it off. And it's just a really easy way to like, if I'm in the room, I gotta see something. I could just turn this on and I'm not disturbed. I'm not like flashing all the lights in somebody's face. Like I will be pissed if somebody did that to me. Definitely go get y'all one because it's, it's like a lifesaver. The second item I have found as a travel nurse is really, really helpful to keep in your bag. Um, and it is Vocera clips. Now, do not ask me why I have all these clips, y'all. But the last assignment that I just finished, they would have, like, a drawer full of them. So, I just ended up with a bunch of them. Sometimes you go home with it still on your jacket. You don't notice. But there's nothing more annoying than having a Vocera without a clip, in my personal opinion. It's annoying. And I've done the paper clip and the rubber band ghetto trick where you don't have a clip. It's annoying. I just prefer the clip. So I'll always keep that thing on me because you never know. And my next contract, they are definitely using Vocera. So really happy that I still have those. I'm going to keep those on hand. The next thing that I have in my bag, which I know is probably going to be kind of weird, but I like to walk around with my own. This is a little transparent tape. Yes, I probably did get this from a hospital because once you take a roll of tape, you're not just going to like put it back in the supply room. You keep it. So I like to walk around with this, like keep it in my pocket because there's nothing more annoying than like being like when you when you're a nurse you want to walk into the room as prepared as you can be because it's so annoying to walk in the room come out go get something come back in the room oh you need this okay let me go back come back in the room oh wait you need this too let me like we're we not playing tag i'm gonna come in here with everything that i feel like i may potentially need and that's just gonna be that so i always keep this little transparent tape on me this is my favorite tape this one sticks real good um the paper version, especially when it comes to like IVs, if you have an IV that's like a little leaky or some people are actually allergic to the paper tape. Um, I had my blood drawn the other day and I had that tape on and it's gone now, y'all. But when I tell you I took that tape off and my where they drew my blood, it was so red and it was raw. I'm like, am I allergic to this? Like I never knew I was allergic to tape at all but i never use that kind i always use this one same as like bandage scissors which i would have in this bag but i have no idea where my pair of bandage scissors is i think somebody might have stole them on my last assignment because i have not seen them since now something you could keep in your work bag that is for work but it's optional is like your own personal stash of pins um i'm bougie i like a certain type of pin and i'm not gonna lie to y'all i have those linked in my amazon storefront too it's an erasable pin I promise you, they write so smooth and you can erase. I hate using pencil. So I love that I can erase the pen. It's like an erasable gel pen. But I also have other types of pens. Um, I have like different colors. When I do my notes sheet or my charting sheet or whatever, when I'm going around, I like to write certain things in different colors. Allergies, I write in red. If somebody's on oxygen, I write it in blue. Like, I don't know. That's just how I go. My report sheet is always super clean, super neat. Like, I don't play about that report sheet. So, I keep a lot of, like, different writing utensils. I have a highlighter, different colors, all type of stuff. Just to make sure that I could do my sheet right. The next thing that I keep in my nursing bag, this is an outdated version, but it is a Lipping Cot like drug nurse Bible. It's really small, real cute, little pocket size. Now, I used this a lot when I first started because there's a million medications in the world and it was really hard for me sometimes. Like I would get embarrassed when I would go in someone's room and they'd be like, okay, what am I getting tonight? And they have like 12 medications and you read them all off. And then they say, okay, what's each one for? And then you're just standing there looking stupid. And you get like caught in... Uh, 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 
I don't know what ibuprofen is for. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Like, you feel so stupid. So, I always keep this with me. And if when I'm getting a report from somebody, they say something that I've never heard of, I just pull it out. And I'm like, what the hell is this for? And I just figure out what it is for. Just so, like, when I go in the room and they ask me a question, I'm not sitting there stumbling. It's real quick and easy to the point you can always google something but i just feel like this is just easier like i don't know it's, it's all right here i don't yeah i love this so i will have this lip and cot uh pocket drug guide link down below i'm pretty sure you get this on amazon but i know i got mine from barnes and noble now that is pretty much all of like the nursey things that I have in my bag. I know a lot of people carry their own like blood pressure cups and uh, pulse oximeters and stuff like that. I've never been in a predicament where a hospital did not have what I needed. Um, a lot of nurses that I know that work at LTAX like to do that because LTAX always have like outdated old raggedy ass equipment. So they just carry their own stuff just to make sure that they're getting like, you know, correct vitals. But I've never had a problem. So I've never bought even like bought my own blood pressure cuff or bought like the pulse oximeter or the automatic like blood pressure thing. I've, I don't carry none of that around. So now we're going to move on into like more of the personal item stuff that I always carry have with me or in my bag we're gonna start of course with my like oh i'm not gonna show it because i don't have any but like snacks some snacks some candy some gum something to just chew on some sunflower seeds or something 12 hour shift 12 hour shift remember that 12 hours of your life so you're definitely gonna need to eat something you're definitely gonna need to snack on something stay awake i always have like little snacks i bring food for real like i bring a whole lunch box we that we not gonna go there but i always have like a little something in my bag and along with you know the snacks y'all know we have to stay hydrated i'm so thirsty because i this actually just like literally 20 minutes before i started filming this this came um in the mail this is my cute little new stanley it says nurse bay so freaking cute um and i have a straw cover because i don't know it triggers me when people bring their stanleys to work a hospital one of the dirtiest nastiest places in the world and it's just like open like just raw dog in the environment put a cover on that so these i got off of amazon it's a cute little like six or eight pack with different cute little um things this is a stethoscope i have like one with a syringe and one that's a um thermometer stuff like that it's got the all black Stanley Nurse Bay, don't play. Now, ours got water in. There's no water in that one, but it's water in this one. And next, this is something that I had to catch on real quick. Um, I never used to wear them, but I really, once you start, you can't stop. And this is for all my black girls, too. Not just for the black girls, but black girls. Go on, get you some scrub caps, baby. Got Once you put this on, you're, you're not going to want to come to work looking like a real human again. You're going to always want to wear this and be raggedy. Don't fall into the trap. But like when you need one on like a bad day or if you just get to work and maybe your wig starts lying back. Maybe your edges ain't laying. Put this in your work bag and it's just going to always be there. Y'all never know. Like I have seen people get puke in their hair, get poop in their hair, get whatever. And you just don't even want your hair out no more. You don't want get you a scrub cap scrub cap it out in addition to the scrub cap something else a scrunchie some hair ties like especially me because i like to have long braids a wig whatever you are always going to want to have something to tie your hair up with because at the hospital only thing you're going to get is some rubber bands and not the little black rubber bands the big brown pull your hair out rubber bands um so make sure you keep like a scrunchie or a ponytail holder or something in your bag because one day it, i promise you i promise you you not gonna need it for three months but the minute you don't have it in that bag and you need it you're gonna be pissed so just keep it in the bag the next item that i have in my work bag is just like some hand lotion this specifically i mean i only have this in there because i ran out of my other one Please follow your facilities like guidelines on perfumes and scented lotions and stuff like that. A lot of people like to try to tussle when they see nurses putting on lotions and perfumes and going to work. Um, I have never had a complaint. I have never had a problem. I don't put on anything like super duper overbearing. But baby, I like to smell good. So I'm sorry. If I have a patient who's obviously allergic or if I know that, you know, I probably shouldn't. 
depending on my patience right now, then I'm not going to do it, obviously. Or I'll just wash my hands again before I go in the room. But, like, yeah. Keep using hand lotion. You wash your hands probably on average. I would say I wash my hands probably, like, 40 to 50 times per shift and like dead ass and I count like hand sanitizer as washing my hands to just like cleansing my hands so your hands get dried out so 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 very fast keep you some lotion so you just keep moisturized and take care of yourself like you're there taking care of everybody else you put lotion on everybody else you wiping everybody else behind take care of you all right, y'all, this is going to be my second to last item, and this is going to be for the ladies. Now, my first travel contract, I had this happen to me, and I was so embarrassed, but thank God for my girl Whitney, who came through for me and literally gave me her whole little package, a period kit, a period kit. Do not be the person that goes to work, gets their period, and you have to wear one of those big thick ass maxi pads that they have for patients do it don't do it okay just i keep a tampon i keep a pad and i also keep one of these because like on that first day my cramps go dumb du -du 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 -dum. i'm telling you i hate going to work on the first day of my period but baby you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes okay i gotta put on them big girl panties and clock in so i keep these all the time because they work amazing it's literally like a portable heating pad y'all go to walgreens and get y'all something i promise y'all this is the best thing ever best thing since sliced bread and i will also recommend keeping a pair of underwear with you as well just because like literally you never know like it just be popping up um so definitely stay prepared on that accord or have some stuff in your car if you don't want to bring it to work but like there's no nothing worse than like being stuck in that predicament and you can't run to your car like you never know what's going on with the patient and your period comes on like you can't just always go to the car so i like to keep stuff in my bag I lied that was not the second to last thing this is so i and i know y'all are probably gonna call me i know y'all gonna call me an old lady i love doing these like y'all know how they say like you're not supposed to be on your phone at work okay cool i won't be on my phone but like one thing that my head is gonna be in baby a quality jumbo number fill in baby I, f I feel like a 90 year old woman because I live and die by these like I have ran through so many of these books and I get so happy when I find them because they are not it's not like a crossword puzzle it's the numbers one so it's harder to find y'all but when I find one I'd be so fucking geek I don't know I know nurses that color I know nurses that play like online solitaire whatever you gotta do to get through that night make sure you do it and the last thing that i'm gonna say but i don't even have near me right now is a phone charger i personally just like to have a phone charger because like i said you're there for 12 hours you, we not supposed to be on our phones all night but i would be lying if i said i was never on my phone at work like be serious y'all know good and well i'll be on my phone at work um when i'm not busy and definitely after all my work is taken care of um but keep a phone charger because a lot of hospitals will have chargers for patients but i have only ever seen an android charger for patients i've never seen anybody any hospital with an apple charger for patients um and you don't want to be the person that's like going around asking everybody to see their charger y'all know some people be stingy so just have your own so you don't have to ask nobody else and that brings me to the end of this video thank y'all so much for watching let me know one or two of the things that you keep in your work bag if we have anything in common or some things that i should add because i kind of low-key feel like i'm missing some stuff but I literally emptied out my old bag and put my stuff in here. So that was all I had in my bag at the time. I'm not really a person to do too much. I bring the basics and I get to work and I do what got to be done, okay? Again, thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment. I will see y'all next time. Bye.